Last year, the Wyoming Game and Fish Commission approved $17.5 million to begin research, development, and setup for raising cool and warm water fish in Wyoming, the existing Spies Hatchery near Casper, the selection for expansion. Soon, fish like walleye, channel catfish, bluegill, white and black crappie, largemouth bass, tiger muskie, and sauger will be produced here, enabling Game and Fish to produce a reliable and diverse supply of cool, warm water fish species for Wyoming's anglers, and eliminating the potential of introducing an aquatic invasive species or prohibited fish pathogen into Wyoming. Fish culture supervisor Guy Campbell. We're projected to want to raise about close to 1.2 million of walleye a year and that's the number we're currently bringing in from the state of North Dakota. Other species that are really of uh, importance we'll do is channel catfish. Uh, we'll raise some smaller channel catfish and larger component, even catchable size, uh, black crappie, white crappie, green sunfish hybrids, sauger, tiger muskie, largemouth bass. Those are a few of them. I'm sure I missed one or two, but those are the main components. A primary benefit of the facility is the protection it offers from aquatic invasive species, a constant concern when bringing in fish from other states to stock. Spies Hatchery personnel successfully conducted incubation and rearing trials for walleye and other species over the past four years and stocked small numbers of walleye, bluegill, and black crappie. Spies Hatchery Superintendent Lars Alsager says anglers will get a more consistent supply of the fish they enjoy, which wasn't always the case in the past. We haven't been able to import largemouth bass in the last five years. So there's been a number of regions around the state of Wyoming that want largemouth bass on a regular basis but haven't been able to get them to, to, for the management of their fisheries. With the addition of this cool and warm water facility, there'll be 50, 60,000 largemouth bass available on an annual basis to where they can make plans for the waters in their, fish, in their regions and be able to manage those fisheries with a consistent source of fish. Sauger from the facility will assist ongoing efforts to restore them to the Wind and North Platte rivers. Fish stocking trips will be shorter and less stressful to fish. Fish like walleye will be older when stocked. And when fish are stocked can be timed to ensure survival. Completion of the facility is expected sometime near the end of 2026. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.